Okay, so now we're actually going to start coding some of these callbacks. You can see that I've arranged these in a more, uh, in a nicer order. I put all the, uh, the headers here, uh, just to explain what they are. I put all the edits in, up at the top, then I put the pops, then I put the radio, and then the push buttons at the bottom, and it finishes with the exit push button. So I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna do the airfoil type callback. And so the first thing we want to do is, uh, well, just remember if we open it up, uh, like this, you'll see that we already have the uh, type NACA here, but what if you change it in the actual edit text box? That's what this callback is coded for. So we want to uh, get the string that's in the actual uh, that's in the actual edit text box, and we just want the string. We don't need to transform it to or convert it to a double because it actually is a string. So we'll do edit airfoil, and then we're just getting the string. Oops, and we don't need those two. So we're just getting the string here, and then. When we read it in, we want to assign it into the base workspace so that it changes there. So we go like that. And the next thing that I want to do here is, usually I'm done after I put in these two lines for the edit text box, but I want to check uh, check if it's exactly four digits. So the first thing we want to do is get the size of this. So I'm going to use the size function, and I'm going to ignore the first uh, value that it returns, and I'm going to get size input. Uh, that's just a variable that I created here because this will tell us the actual length of the string. And I'm going to use size type NACA like that. And now I want to put in some if else statements. So I'm going to say if the size of the input is equal to four, that's what we want, then we're going to do something. And then otherwise we're going to do something else and then we'll end it here. And so in here, what I want to do is I want to set the handles.text status. And I want to set the string of that text status. Uh, and if you recall, it is this here. Right now it says ready to plot. And I'm going to set that to say ready to plot again. And it might seem redundant, but let's say that we changed it to uh, a five digit. And then in here it'll change that string to say uh, enter a four digit airfoil in red. Then if we enter back a four digit, then we want to re say, or we want to re put in there, you know, ready to plot. Uh, so that's why this is not actually redundant. And I'm going to say handles.text status. I'm going to change the color, foreground color, to black. Like that. I'm going to draw it. And then I'm going to change that flag plot flag to 1 to say that it is okay to plot. And then otherwise, let me copy this over. I'll copy that in here. If it's not a four digit, then we don't want it to say ready to plot. We want it to say a specific message, enter a four digit airfoil. And I'm going to change the foreground color to red so that it's vibrant. I'm going to draw it now. I'm going to set this flag plot to zero. And then now you can see this is highlighted in orange because we didn't do anything with it yet. So we want to assign this into the base workspace flag plot and it'll update it in here. Flag plot like that. So now I can save that and I can run it. And now if I go in here and you can see if I uh, change this to 2412, I press enter. Now over here you can see type NACA is 2412. Now what happens if I do, you know, 24 blah 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 like that? I press enter. It still loads it in, but down here it says enter a four digit airfoil and flag plot has been changed to zero. And once I, I, I'll put that code in this plot airfoil. Right now I won't do anything, but once I plot this, or once I code this up, it'll say, if it's zero, don't do anything. Now if I go back and I go back to 0012 and I press enter, you can see it says ready to plot again, and we're ready to go. All right, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.